Uh, I love a good chase. Um, I mean, these days we've got a lot of sophisticated equipment. We've got Ardman's uh, camera, uh, state-of-the-art camera, cranes, uh, uh, custom-made uh, pan and tilt, heads motion control equipment. Um, we can do all sorts of things, but um, it really comes back down to the basics, and I think this actually shows the basics. We had very, very little equipment then. We had some quite basic motion control equipment. We could do, we could do little tracks with the camera. Uh, we could just about computer control things. And initially we did, we actually tried to sequence that when we saw the storyboard and Nick had put together and we talked about that this wonderful chase it was gonna be. Um, we tried some with a nice linear camera track and some smooth movements and um, it was rubbish. Uh, <laughs> it had no excitement, it had no, no tension to it. Um, so went back to basics again. We had a set, um, a typical set in there was about a 15 foot set, which was, um, which was basically the wallpaper, just repeated. I think we photocopied it, didn't we? Um, a painted carpet, uh, bits of props in there. Uh, we built a camera, sort of crane, a camera jib. We had an old uh, camera dolly. We got the wheels off that. Um, some old camera tracks. I keep saying old. Most of our gear was from an antique shop. <laughs> uh, pieced together. Uh, we mounted the camera on this camera jib, um, hanging over the set. There's a little railway line running down the set with a train on it. And um, we had our character, well, let's, well, let's, let's use Sean for the minute, just because <laughs> he's having, you can stand in for Gromit for the minute, he's in the wrong position. So we would have the camera pointing at our character here, I sat on the train. Now, either pulling him along or pushing him was a rod just out of, out of vision. So if you motion the framing's there, so there'd be a rod pulling him, and as you push the camera along, he'd move, or vice versa, you could push him along there. Uh, we would do it on time exposures. The good thing about stop, stop frame, we can choose our own exposure speed. And we had, I think it was like a two second exposure. We marked out on the um, camera track, little three, three inch uh, markings on there. So the, the animator would go in there, he'd animate the character, step back, he'd start, Pushing the camera as he as he pressed the shutter, so over the two seconds he'd move it along three inches. Now, because the character's moving with the camera, it remained in focus, just about, uh, and the background was blurred. So that was one of the first principles, really. Um, it's nice because it's organic and it didn't cost very much, did it? <laughs> <laughs> um, now, the other thing about it, on the test there, I hadn't really laid the tracks down properly. It was all a bit shaky. It's all the old equipment there. So when the test came back, it was shaking. It was doing all sorts of things. Some frames he was bouncing around. Some frames he was out of focus. But that, of course, is what made it. That's what made it exciting. It was organic. And in fact, I was thinking we were going to have to put the tracks down properly and do all sorts of things. But no, this is it. This is the method. And to be honest, we've actually kept that method for most of our films. <laughs>